Hey guys, and welcome back to another reading. Thank you guys so much for being here for all your support. Hey, fuck with y'all. Ooh. What's going on with divine and divine masculine, okay? I do want to tell y'all these unions are coming together. I don't care who is trying to break something up. It's not going to work. A lot of y'all's family uh, is jealous of you too. Y'all got sisters, brothers, mothers, fathers. You know, they're jealous of the fact that you have a twin flame and they may not. Or, you know, they, they are married to somebody. And, you know, maybe this person is nothing like your person or something here. The fucking hell fuck is this? Remembrance. This is real ratchet and I already feel it. Changes in the reverse. Somebody is very jealous of you. I don't think that you understand the depth of this person's jealousy. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or you could be an earth sign. Passion here. This person got a lot of passion for you. Damn. They do. Solar places, chakras in the reverse. Emergence in the reverse. Somebody does not want you to recognize something about this person or about you. Okay. There's some kind of illusion. You guys be very careful. Somebody's painting illusions here. Somebody doesn't want you to seem worthy, like you don't deserve this person. So I'm getting this six of wands energy here. Yeah, this person that had been viewing you, this person is in the public eye or you are, but somebody is in like a six of wands. Somebody, this is like that celebrity energy I keep picking up on. Yep, miracle in the reverse. They don't want you to get your wish fulfillment. They don't want you to have any miracles. They want everything to, you know, be slowed down for you. It's not gonna happen. Throat chakra. This person gonna come say something to you anyway. Prosperity in the reverse. Okay. This is definitely your enemies here. Your enemies thought that they had defeated you in some kind of way. I don't know. Maybe because of rumors and lies that they had been spreading. But it's all coming out that, you know, there was some kind of spell work being done or something like that to prevent you all from being together. You dig a rule? Somebody sees clearly what's going on here. Period. They do. Integration. They're coming in anyways. Yeah, this masculine energy here. Somebody was trying to close the door. And I feel like, too, even with you, it's like they were attacking you and the energy of this person. You dig a rule? It's like um, somebody was doing a whole lot of spell work. I just want to say that. I want to keep letting you all know that. Especially a twin flame union. When you're a twin flame, the journey is much harder. You may be wondering, like, damn, how everybody got a girlfriend or a boyfriend and I don't. I know I'm the shit. Yeah, because somebody is literally in your energy playing games. Okay. They just are. I heard. I get it. Let me think. I guess it's my turn. Maybe it's time to put this pussy on your sideburns. I heard that. Shout out to Nikki. I heard that just now. Okay. Um, you definitely are very attractive, whoever you are. This person is very attracted to you. And there's something here that this person been waiting. They've been waiting. They're patiently waiting. Maybe this person was indecisive at first, but it's like they know who you are. Somebody is dreaming about you a lot or you're dreaming about someone a lot. Or it's a significant dream that you had about this person here. We And, um, you know, I feel like that's what's uh, causing you all to be in this energy of being able to, you know, see what's truly going on around you. Because I feel like somebody is causing illusions, like I said. This is a lot of fucking spell work fuck, period. It's like these energies feel like they need to do spell work to block your blessings. And they don't. Like, I feel like the only thing you need to do is, like, mind your fucking business. I mean, the only true resolution to whatever this is is to mind your fucking business right here. Door to Spirit is in the reverse here. You also got the healer of the ages in the reverse. So somebody doesn't want you to heal. They don't want you to heal or they don't want you to heal something with this person. The garden and the gate is open. Whenever you decide, whenever you decide to go to God and submit, oh, trust and believe me, he got your back is what I feel. Broken heart, door to value in the reverse. Somebody don't want you to know your true value. It's like they, they're trying to sabotage your whole essence. Like somebody, somebody doesn't want you to be existing is what I heard. All this shit fell out on the floor. That's just a bit too much here. Somebody don't want you to know your value. It's like they want you to uh, constantly be in some kind of struggle. But this, it's like this person is the complete opposite of you. It's like y'all come from two different worlds or something here. Straight up. 
financial constraints. So you got the daughter value in reverse and then the financial constraints up, right? Action in the reverse. Somebody don't want you to be able to provide. They don't want you to be able to have anything. This is what I'm trying to tell you. The vibes are here, fam, my They're attacking your money. They want you to walk away from opportunities. Then use, you know, uh, somebody got invited to host something that was very lucrative and you turned it down. Yeah, that's because this person was doing spell work on you to have you conflicted. They're trying to turn your prosperity upside down here. Carrying connections. You have the woman holding the heart here or a man. <laughs> you dig a rule? Our angel Raphael is here. Oh, no, that's Gabriel. Sorry. Our angel, uh, our angel Gabriel is here to restrain the motherfucker who don't appreciate you, your value. Yeah, this person is always thinking about you. I feel this person ended something with this bitch right here, this thinking woman. And then, too, y'all are always thinking about each other. Y'all are like two peas in a pod is what I feel. Okay? But somebody doesn't want you guys to go on this journey together, which really sucks. You know, it really sucks that somebody is so fucking hateful and deceiving. Yeah, it could be this bitch, this woman holding a coin. Uh, it could be this person's ex or their uh, wife or something. It's, it's something here, or or it could even be this person's mother. Somebody's mother is a goddamn hater here. Yeah. This person ain't busy at all. All they do is stalk you. All they do is know how to keep up with your business. Mm. But you're contracted to win. They're contracted to lose. They're going to get, I mean, Raphael right there. Talk to our agent Raphael. So there's a storm warning. So somebody was warned. Several times I feel on several different fucking occasions to mind their fucking business. That's just what the fuck I feel like right here, fam, my Somebody was definitely warned to mind their fucking business and they did it. They kept, you know, um, coming in, making themselves available to mind your business and they getting extracted, period. Somebody named Elevin. I mean, Evelyn. Elevin. What the fuck is that? Eleven. Okay, Eleven could be significant. Eleven, that's eleven, right? Seven eleven. Somebody could be at seven eleven, or you just came from seven eleven to get some bad woods. Yeah, that's the fucking truth. Somebody named Damien, okay. Somebody named Lily, 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 Dee Dee, something like that. This is too fucking much. That's what I'm trying to say right here, fam. So this, man, this person right here is everything. Whoever this person is, this is your yang. You guys are twins. This is the love of your life. And you are the love of their life, too. It's like you guys both are on the same frequency. And this person is very loyal to you. Whether you know this or not, they are. This person takes up for you. That's what I heard. This person does not like when anyone speaks negatively on your name. Or you don't like when someone speaks negative on your person. And I get that. Yeah, this person is very turned the fuck up. They don't sleep. Seem like seem like this person been having nostalgia or something as well. This person can't sleep. Yeah, exchanging gifts. They want to give you something too. This person right here admires you. They adore everything that you're doing. Pets could be significant. Or somebody's name is Katrina, Katanya, uh, Caitlin, uh Catalina or something like that. Catalia or something. Somebody named Zoe, Zoe, Marcus, Noel, Joel. Okay. Higher power here with deep knowing. It's like you already know that something is going on. It's very significant, but the times are, the times are, see, it's the time. It's the timing of something that's very significant here. Okay. There's the building blocks in reverse. Somebody don't want you to be able to build something. Somebody is trying to lure you in. I'm telling you the vibes for masculine. Because this person is closer than you think is what I heard. You're going to run into this person somewhere. Literally, like you could even have an accident with this person. Damn, did somebody meet their soulmate in an accident? A car accident or something? It was like a little fender bender. It wasn't that serious. You do, Guru? Yeah. Yin, Yang, you guys are both showing up. Twin Flames. I think I might do more Twin Flame readings, but I mean, these messages come up as I do the readings. You dig a rule? I don't ever know what the fuck gonna come up. Yeah. There's that round and round. Somebody doesn't want to let this person go as well. Masculine, you got an energy here that just doesn't want to let you go. It's like, um, it seems to me that this person did everything to lose you. By the book, it's only fair, you know, that you get the fuck on but this person is trying to make you stay back 
Somebody that ain't Cedric. Yeah, this person's trying to fuck up everything in your life. But it's an easy fix is what I heard. Yeah. It's a very easy fix with no emotion. You don't, you don't need to show emotion to something or to someone. Because you got somebody else that's here. And this person is for you. Not for you is in the reverse. Something is slowly but surely declining. Maybe this person's money, their health, their following, something. Yeah, something is very chaotic. This person is trying to bring chaos. They're trying to start some fucking shit fuck with you. Yeah, with regarding this person. This is somebody's ex that's in your fucking business. This extinct, expired bitch. Okay, here. This shit is over. This person doesn't know when to exit. They don't know when to leave someone alone. I cannot, one thing I don't like, well, I don't like a lot of shit and y'all know this, but I cannot stand a bitch that's an ex or a nigga that's an ex that can't leave a person alone. If you broke up, move the fuck on, bro. If you're going to make up and do shit right, do it and do it the right way. But all that break up, make up shit. And then when this person with somebody else, now you want to come back and be with them, bitch, get the fuck out of the way and let a real boss nigga or a nigga, uh, bitch through, period. Let a real boss nigga through, let a real bitch nigga, um, a real, uh, boss bitch through, period. That's just what I feel like right here, fam. Let a real nigga, let a real bitch through. Get the fuck out of the way. This person is going round and round in goddamn circles. You got me going in circles. Yeah, they going in circles. This person keeps coming back to you. This motherfucker right here pick up the phone and call masculine. <sighs> I'm hungry. Well, bitch going to cook you something to eat, ho. I mean, what, what you calling this masculine for? He got a bitch already. A change in the wind. These people with these kind of energies don't know when to let go. They just don't. And it's like, look, chop wood and reverse and regeneration. They only, the only reason why these hoes and niggas want this person is because of you. They're with you now, so now they want this person back. Bitch, bye. You're done. You're done, honey. You're toast. You're, you're just done. It's a new life. A new day. It's, it's something this person got going on. I've seen 12, 12. This person is definitely jealous of whoever it is you with as well. Or they're jealous of your, your twin flame union, period. They may not know who your twin flame is, but breathe here. Just understand the vibe. Spirit is working. And this person is not able to view something anymore either. They may be mad about that. So they're just overthinking here, I feel. Or this is you overthinking. Mm. Somebody's overthinking. Somebody's going out to eat. Have fun, guys. You guys definitely deserve whatever it is that you want, bro. You deserve good shit, okay? Here, don't, don't make it seem like, you know, you work hard. You play harder, bro. Like, don't be getting so caught up in what you're doing for work or, oh, I got this and oh, bro, you got to make time to enjoy your life, bro. Life is not, man, that shit is like, it's not, tomorrow's not promised. I just want to tell you the vibes. Because whoever this person is, is in deep fucking regret. They're in regret. Like, damn, time went by so fast kind of energy. Oh, I didn't take advantage of, you know, the time that I had with this person. Yeah, no, you didn't. And it's someone else's time, ho. So you need to mind your business, bitch. I just really feel like that. I feel like a bitch that's in the background, an ex. Ho, you don't got no nothing over this person life. You don't got no leverage. You don't got shit. You don't got a leg. Oh, you don't have nothing. So I'm trying to put your legs up for this masculine bitch. He don't want that fishy, dry ass pussy. He don't want that catfish. He don't want that. And this person is also trying to catfish you. Look at all these cards. I know I struck a bitch nerve just then. Look at all these cards that just fell on the fucking floor. Oh, it's more. This is a fishy ass motherfucking bitch right here. Period. And something about this person is very fishy. It's like, you have to side-eye this bitch or this nigga. Like, it, 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 it seems like the shit that they do, you have to look at it sideways. Or you have to do a double take or something. Like, something about this person is just not genuine at all. You dig know? This person wants something to fall down for you. This person also trying to get pregnant by this masculine. Or masculine. This whole lie. And said she was pregnant to get, like, two or three months over you or something. Maybe this bitch is trying to take time to say she's pregnant to get you stuck. And then the bitch is not even pregnant. She might be trying to get you stuck with her so you can have sex with her again to actually get pregnant. This bitch can't even get pregnant from all the spell work she was doing. Period. This bitch right here cannot even conceive. I feel like this person might have been doing spell work on this feminine or this masculine sperm. 
this feminist womb or this masculine sperm. Yeah, this is a stranger. This person has given their life over to the devil and I feel like that's where they need to stay. You are a godly being. This person doesn't belong anywhere near you. They're low fucking vibing. You did not ask for this, I feel. This is not y'all's wish fulfillment. They're not invited. Follow me is in the reverse. Somebody is mad too because you have a rapid growing. Like your, your following is growing rapidly here. And bitches and niggas is mad. Somebody's trying to claim that you're uh, buying views and shit. Her special place. Acorn's invitation. But the numbers speak for themselves. I picked up on this energy the other day. This is a bitch that's lying saying that you're buying views or something. This person is trying to discredit everything you're doing to make it seem like you're not this person's divine counterpart. They're trying to make it seem like you're a fraud. And you're not, you dig a rule. They're the fucking fraud. This is a fraudulent nigga or a bitch. This person mad because this person never in get um asked them to marry them or something. They might have thought that that dry pussy was gonna have this masculine propose. Yeah, no, sis. Hell no. Your cat this ass drove this masculine away with your dry ass abilities to do anything. This person is very dry. It's like they're very nonchalant. This person's conversation skills are horrible. This person was going to practitioners and shit, you know, uh, trying to keep this masculine stuck. I'm hearing a bitch tell her, put this in his food, put this in his drinks. Yeah, but masculine ain't dumb. The fuck, bitch? You know, lost your fucking mind. This, this divine masculine is heavily protected. It's nothing you can work on with nobody to bring this person out. If that's what you were thinking, bitch, think again, ho. You need to truly go back to the drawing board since you love to draw all that shit on your fucking face. This is a bitch that wears a lot of makeup as well. Not saying nothing is wrong with makeup, but this bitch right here definitely is wearing a mask. Like, literally. This this person doesn't want this masculine to know the truth there. I heard the eyes are the windows to the soul. This person wears a lot of contacts as well. And this person may have a lot of contacts. But I feel like these are like practitioners. Like, this person's friend group is witches and warlocks. People that do spell work. I mean, but now they're crying over this mask. I'm like, oh my God, where did he go? Oh my God. Nah. Don't cry now. I mean, you knew what you were doing in the background. This person's mother is very toxic as well. I feel like everybody and their mama was depending on this damn masculine's money or something. But I feel like since if you was a real true divine feminine, you wouldn't need this masculine for shit. Straight up. Divine feminists or masculines don't depend on anybody. I don't give a fuck who you are. They don't depend on nobody to be abundant. You dig the rule? And this person is very codependent here. Somebody named Coco. Coco. Mm. What else here? Somebody land named Cash. Yeah, this person was trying to get a glimpse in. Somebody named Sierra. This person was trying to get a motherfucking glimpse. And then they the same man. This person right here too, they might have acted like they moved on, but they're still stalking you. They're still sending spell work your way. This person knows a lot of witches and warlocks. I do want to tell you all that, fam. That's good. They know a lot of people in the occultic range is what I want to say. They know a lot of people that do some occultic shit. Mm. Grim is door. The door is shut, though. Shut, closed on this motherfucker. Tight and sealed. Dead bolt locked. You got magical help on the way. You're going to meet this person by chance. New love. This is a new love. This is someone that you don't know. But they're your twin. But they know you kind of energy. I feel like this person was even planning on coming towards you. But they never got a chance to because y'all ended up coming towards each other. You dig a roof? It's some kind of shit. This person is something about you that this person can't let go of. It's like spirit won't let this person out of your mind. And also, this is this karmic energy as well. Their their karma is to be able to never be able to think, breathe, sleep, nothing without you or without the thought of you. Because guess what they were doing? They were trying to manipulate your mind. They were they were they were trying to make you take losses mentally. This person wanted you very discombobulated. I mean, so where you didn't know where you were going, what you were doing, why you were doing something here. And whoever you are, your life is already established. You dig a rule? You have gifts that nobody have. You are in a position that a lot of people won't make it to. You did? And this person was trying to have you rethinking why you were doing some bitch. Who the fuck are you, ho? Who are you niggas and you bitches to think that you can put a spell on somebody to have them not knowing who they are? Bitch, sit your weird ass down because you're not being supported by this. 
You're not. This person is mad because you're not picking up their calls anymore. Yeah, for what? What the fuck is there to talk about after you poisoning the nigga? What the fuck you, you, nigga? Why this family, this family don't want shit to do with you after you poisoning them? What the fuck is wrong with you? This person was doing spell work so you would not have a relationship with your children either. They wanted it to be all about them. Days that are important, they made it all about you. They child birthday could be a certain day and they would take their day to argue with you or to upload some stupid ass shit. Or, I mean, this person right here is just beyond me, child. You're very beautiful, very sexy, very handsome here. And that's what this person did. They're, they're um, intimidated by that as well. Oh, queen. They're intimidated by you. That's just what it is. This is a jealous ass whore or nigga, period. You dig a root? They're jealous. This person is mad because you're a fucking trendsetter as well. Mad because this person moved on and they couldn't sacrifice them or sacrifice something regarding this person. This motherfucker is very messy, I want to say. This is some messy ass bullshit fuck. So I don't know why the fuck they thought this was love because it's not. Yeah, they mad because you got a passionate new beginning with someone else. Whoever this is. Somebody's name is Ariana. Mm. What else is here? Somebody lay a name Hamden or something. Hampton. 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 Somebody named Delisha. Somebody named Roxanne for sure. Roxy. Roxy, Roxanne, something. Stand your fucking ground to this goddamn loser. They're trying to disrupt your foundation here. But see, the only reason why they're trying to disrupt your foundation is because someone else is here. That's the only reason. They want you to be solely focused on them. They don't want you to talk to your kids. Like, what the fuck? You're already in this position of power, I feel. You just are. And you're sexy as shit with this sacral chakra and power. Definitely is a Leo Aries Sagittarius. This person right here is fucking confused. Solitude here. They be in the dark doing stupid ass shit. Obstacles and challenges trying to bring them your way and that shit never reaches you. You dig a root? And it won't. Somebody loves Scooby Doo. Somebody named Scooby. Or Scooter or something like that. Scooter. Scooby. Uh, recognition and reward. They're mad because you're still getting recognition. You got spiritual fucking strength. This person weak as fucking hell fuck. But see, who would have known that this would, would, would be your enemy? They don't want to try to tell you right here, fam. Who would have known that this person is your enemy? Somebody named Tamia. Tamia. Clarice or something. Clarence. Somebody is getting something on clearance. You might see something you like on clearance or something here. Light. Yeah, they don't like your light. This person is trying to get this masculine or this feminine to view you in a very distorted fucking way. I seen 2323. It's something about this energy I just don't like. Rejoice and celebration. This person trying to offer you some motherfucking shit. They trying to offer you food or a drink or a blunt, something. Don't smoke shit with this bitch or this nigga. Don't drink shit with this whole ass nigga. Period. Spiritual union. It's all about the passion in this relationship. They see this coming because all they do is get readings. Maybe they started getting readings because they didn't know whether you were cheating or not here. This bitch ain't got no fucking intuition. You dig a root? Yeah. They were trying to stop you from reaching out to this person because they know that it's material and spiritual prosperity um, behind this relationship. It won't just be sex. I feel like all this person had to uh, offer was some dry ass sex. Maybe it was, maybe this relationship was for a, a, a image Yeah, y'all are definitely in the public eye. Face chakra reverse. This relationship was for an image or for some kind of sacrifice and they could not, you know, obtain this here. They were trying to fuck up your, your shit, bro. Your core. They were trying to bring a lot of pain, confusion, and um, shit to you. All because you're getting wish fulfillment in a very successful manner at that. We. Mm. This is a losing bitch. The 15th is going to be significant. Somebody is definitely traveling 
You're going to meet this person by chance. This person going to tell you to get in the car. They never going to leave you alone. This is all kidnap energy here in a good way. Like this person's like, man, hell no. Nah. I'm not letting this person get away from me. Or you may go on a ride with this person, maybe on a motorcycle or a dirt bike or something. Whoever this is, they love dirt bikes, motorcycles and shit like that. Me, myself, I'm terrified of motorcycles and shit. I'm terrified. <laughs> that is a fear of mine, right? I cannot stand it. Look, I cannot make this up. Trap this fear, yes. I'm shaking it a quarter for some fucking motorcycles. No, I'm not getting on. Mm -mm. I'll watch you. Now, you look sexy. Man. Nah. Hell no. Nah. But um, also, too, this person, this person, this it's just distant fate. August the 10th here. September the 2nd, okay? October the 3rd. May 15th. June 16th. July 11th. December the 7th here. Choose wisely. This person doesn't have any love. I just want to tell you the vibes. They don't. This person don't love you. Nobody. Their family. I mean, they don't love anything. This person is a, a classic narcissist. I just want to say. They're a narcissist. It's like everything that they're doing is for a, a lower vibration. This person wants to literally stay in your life only to bring you down further. Like, because you're already on the top. So you can't go nowhere what? But down or up. And this person is trying to bring you down. Real elevator energy. It could have been a significant argument with this person on an elevator. I mean, we all know what happened on the motherfucking elevator, though. We feel massively. What the fuck? Mmm. I seen 2707. They are trying to ensure that you don't come together with this person. I mean, they're literally trying to make sure of this. Because whatever they, whatever they, this dry sex, this boring sex, this boring conversation, this boring need to not be shit you dig a rule like this person has no ambition in any area any aspect of their life it's not hitting on shit it's all boring and they're trying to find a way to keep you around and you're just gone yeah this person is false as fucking hell fuck something you're not expecting from this person they're gonna do it but you're gonna end something or you did it's about you either breaking up with this person or um the fact that they don't want to break up. They may be trying to suck you in um, before y'all break up. This person can feel that y'all are breaking up. And or, you know, they, they get readings all the time. This person even, they even have their family. Somebody is definitely an artist. You paint. Somebody's a, a painter or something. Your paintings will be known worldwide in galleries and shit like that. And it's something significant about your gallery, your, maybe your photo gallery, or maybe photos is significant. This person, this person got screenshots and shit of your feminine or your masculine in their phone. They be doing spell work on this person. I'm telling you the vibes. This person gonna come in and try to gift you something, maybe for your birthday or something here. They're fake. They're just trying to get you sucked into their energy. So you won't be able to let them go. It's something very significant about photos. This person is very, very, very green with envy. Yeah. And you're official as fucking hell, fuck. Y'all are getting sudden wealth and shit right here. Somebody don't like the fact that this film is multi-talented or multi-faced. They don't like that shit about this person. This is a jealous, greedy, envious ass, karmic asshole or a nigga. They don't like what your film or your masculine does for work. But I feel like you should just mind your business, bitch, and you wouldn't be so hurt. Yeah. Maybe if you put that time into yourself and some hydration, bitch, you wouldn't be worried about why you're not the privileged lady. And you can't steal shit from this person. Instead, you're going to be in poverty. Your favorite motherfucking YouTuber or your favorite influencer is about to take a fall. You'll be shocked to know that your favorite influencer is copying the fuck off of me. Okay? Thieving ass bitches and niggas. This bitch right here is not divine at all. 
somebody is always trying to throw you for a loophole. They always try to throw in something that's not concerning you, but they're very consistent with this. Something about constancy. Something is constantly being done, but now this person is in despair. They're looking stupid as fucking hell, fuck. I feel like this person is way too immature for whoever you are anyway, or you are way too immature for this person. You dig a rule? Y'all motherfuckers need to get your motherfucking mind right, ho. That's why you always getting left. This person has always got some kind of bad breakup in the media. This person is very violent as well. Yeah. They wanted to have a child with you, but this bitch can't even get pregnant. I'm telling you the vibes. This person can't get pregnant because of all the spell work they were doing. They mad because this masculine never asked to marry them. This is a karmic masculine. You're, this is a karmic. Or the, you are a karmic ass bitch or a masculine. And you need to sit the fuck down, ho. This person will never ask you to marry them. And they will never be in poverty. How you gonna have a wealthy man in poverty? It's not gonna work. Their bloodline is rich, bitch. Fuck wrong with you. It's my name, Rick. It's my name, James. Mm. Somebody's from Trinidad. It's something about ethnicity here. Or maybe you got some shit in your bloodline and you're not made aware. Oh, somebody somebody definitely um, did some kind of blood. You're trying to see ancestry or something here. Some kind of kit that you receive with your ancestry. You want to know more about your bloodline. And there's also somebody getting like a DNA test or something. I also see somebody purchasing a pregnancy test or a plan B. I feel like this energy was pregnant and then they went and got a plan B. But see, that's why they ask, feel like they need a plan B now to come into this masculine's life. Bitch, you should have never got a plan B. You were already pregnant, you dumb hoe. But see, you're not genuine and you're not meant to be in this person's bloodline, bitch. Why don't you hoes and niggas understand that hoe? Your, your lineage is fucked up. You can't just be out here breathing with anybody when you're a divine femur masculine. A lot of y'all are not even having sex right now. Kudos, congrats. Yeah, it was all about marriage. Look, you got marriage here twice. This person thought that this masculine was going to marry her dry ass. This masculine thought that this feminine was going to marry his dry ass. Man, please. Everything this person does is DIY. You dig a rule. And it ain't nothing with doing nothing yourself. But masculine, why you need to go to the bathroom and, and, and beat your meat after sex? That don't make no sense. How you can't nut right here? That don't make no sense. It's a dry ass bitch. Fam, you got to go and you know what I'm saying? Hit the rolls and shit after you fuck this nigga. Nah, this person ain't pleasing you in any kind of way, especially sexually. And it's, it's, it's something about sex here. This person thinks they're the end all be all. This is a dry ass motherfucker. Is what I, they're dry. You're dry. You're dry as fucking fuck hell, bitch. You are dry. Your ovaries have even shriveled up, bitch. You have no great fortune with having a child. But that's this person's main goal. They feel like this is going to keep you. Somebody said, damn, she be going off on these karmics. Yes, because you hoes are not shit and you never will be. These karmic bitches will never change their life. They're here to be karmic. And they're here to try to take the place of divine them. Bitch, you would never, you would never, you could never. I'm just telling you the vibes. Could never. They don't want you to get in contact with this divine feminine. This divine feminine is everything. This divine masculine is everything. They have everything. This person got dick, love, and money. Film got some good pussy on her. Love and money. I mean, y'all are the same. You're twins. The fuck? This person doesn't get that here. That's why last night is Shaw. That could be somebody's maiden name as well. Jones. J-O-N-E-S. This is a dry ass fucking bitch. It's my name, Jada. Jayla or something like that. It's so dry. This is, I'm, I can't stand this long at all. Yeah. This, this masculine energy is thinking about you now, fam. 
the 16th of this month is significant. Maybe 1 p.m. You're high honor. Everything goes your way. Everything goes your fucking way. You might be made aware of a false ass family member as well. The 21st is definitely significant too. Okay. Somebody is trying to bring it into you. Everything you were doing, it's not going to work. It's not. This is just not going to work. Somebody is very adamant about ending something for you. This is a very immature person here, fam. Your ex is very immature. It's like they still, this, this person thinks that y'all still got a chance. No, you don't. It's over. This person was doing spells. Bitch, you got no time to do no spell, bro. The fuck wrong with you? You doing spells? You trying to take away this person's free will. You think this person want to fuck with you after you've been doing spell work? Like, come on, sis. You can't think that. You just can't. You can't pop. That's how I know. <clears throat> Your lemon meringue pie face ass, bitch. It's psyched out. I know this for a fact now. You think this person going to be with you after you've been doing spells on them? Or were you doing the shit in the fucking background and you thought they were never going to find out? Amanda. Okay. Roddy Rich, you need to be careful. I don't know what the fuck going on, you guys. Somebody named Mason, or this is a Mason, Mason Reed, something like that. Macy. Mm. Somebody named Keon, Keon, or Kenya, or something. Jabril. This is crazy. Great fortune here. Somebody named Charisma. Somebody has the name Allure in something. Allure, A-L-L-U-R-E, Allure or Valour or something like that. But this bitch is manure. This hoe is nothing. This is horse shit. This person is, is truly, they're, they're truly setting you up in some kind of way. And it's only to block you from this person here because they're fake as fucking hell, fuck. What was that? Thoughts. Yeah, this thought is fake. This person is looking for the next rich nigga to be with. As we speak. You dig a room? They're looking for the next rich motherfucker to associate themselves with. Period. This person is all about clout, is what I heard. I can't make this up. Page of Swords. They're looking for the next rich nigga to be with. All oh, these hoes in here mad as hell at me. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Fuck you. All these goddamn cards falling on the floor. Let's see what we got. The five of motherfucking ones, the king of cups, the empress, and the motherfucking four of swords. Like I felt, you bitches are jealous of this empress. You're jealous. You stupid hoes. You'll never be no empress, bitch. Look at this shit you're doing. These are twin flames. Gemini energy. Lover's card. That's playing fam. Y'all got some motherfuckers that are very upset with you. And I mean upset to the point where they would do anything. They want you dead at this point. Yeah, that shit's not happening. They reaching out to a lot of practitioners. These practitioners done blocked. How the fuck you get blocked by a witch? <laughs> Where are the drums, motherfucker? Drum roll for these motherfuckers. It's my name, Nicholas. My land ain't Hammond, H A M M O N D. Okay, here. <laughs> Bring up the drums for the poker. What is this bullshit with these bitches and niggas? They do not want to understand that they have no fucking choice. Move on, motherfucker. They don't want to. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Look what fell on the motherfucking floor. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They were doing magic on this fucking king of pentacles. <laughs> you bitches is fucking annoying. <laughs> you bitches ain't shitting. I call it constipation. Nigga sweating me. I need to check my perspiration. Stress, pain, hustle, shine, and really dedication. You think I ain't the shit what time you take your medication? <laughs> what is you talking about, Google? Somebody love Lucky Charms. We somebody missed an opportunity here. This is crazy. Page of coins. 
they're trying to have a baby with you, but a baby to gain some kind of um. They're trying to have a child with you to gain like finances or some kind of clout, like never ending clout. Is what I heard. What the fuck? This person trying to gain never ending clout. Like they want people to forever know their name by being attached and associated with you. You dig a root? That's this person's main goal. The only thing that they want is to have a permanent attachment to you or some goddamn body. Leo energy with the strength card. They want to have a baby with you literally just to be able to... This is definitely a Leo. Double Leo with the sun and the fucking strength. This is definitely a Leo. Or motherfuckers got Leo heavily in their chart. Or you could be a Leo. Look at the Knight of Swords. Why is this Queen of Wands energy so stressed out? Like I said, this whole got blocked by a practitioner. <laughs> this bitch right here be taking Flintstone vitamins. Trying to muster up energy to do a spell on the Divine Feminine. That bitch taking Flintstone gummies <laughs> to muster up some kind of energy to send an attack? Girl. <laughs> that bitch done hit Smoothie King right here. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody out of the big man. Somebody gonna die tonight. <laughs> this bitch popping capsule boost and insure to get some energy to send an attack to a divine feminine. Oh, my God. I heard a double-edged sword. This person is in a ten of swords, four of swords. They thinking of all kind of ways. Somebody named Priscilla Patrick or something like that. Peyton. The emperor is in reverse. You cannot bring company to this emperor. <laughs> it's in Aries. There's somebody laughing hard as fuck. Yeah, bro. Somebody is crazy. Y'all is crazy, child. Look at the moon. The moon. Something being hidden here. This person definitely loves taking photos. Whoever this person is, this person could have just posted a significant nude photo. Or like nude. But I mean, it may they may have covered up their their private parts, but they're, they were nude. Technically. Their private, like their breast and their vagina and ass was covered. Or their dick was covered or something but they somebody just posted a new photo shoot or something they had or somebody is about to that's going to indicate who the fuck these people is i heard hard hats somebody is into construction or graffiti something like that or maybe your your parents were somebody got two specific dalmatians somebody love dalmatians yeah look at the two of cups and the three of cups they working together to bring this union apart. They like, oh hell no. Nah. I'm not, I am not about to allow this person to be with this person. And they're not with me. If they're not with me, they need to be single forever. It's like this person don't want you to move on at all. I told you they are in search of a new fucking sugar daddy or something. Conch is significant. A seashell also smells are significant. A snake. <laughs> A whole lot of pun on that snake is significant. We, this person, you know, they had all their eggs in a basket and didn't even know that you were the money tree. This person trying to snatch coins off your tree and put it in their fucking basket. This person don't know what to do without you is what I heard. This person is having a mental break. You may hear of a celebrity going to, uh, you know, check themselves into some kind of mental hospital. I mean, but that's courtesy of their own spell work backfiring here. Somebody's mother definitely or your father was in the fucking service, period. I've been picking that up. Look at the seven of swords. This sneaky ass motherfucking bitch right here. Somebody trying to come through masculine window. What the fuck? Sure, that did. Something about the fall. 
something about autumn or the fall or somebody's name is autumn ten of wands reverse they want to bring an end to you they want to release burdens onto you here yeah the nine of cups in reverse this person is not getting any wish fulfillment the pit of a peach is significant okay I heard Peter Pitt. That could be significant to someone. Peter Pitt. Somebody love Peter Bread or something. Somebody named Peter or Lita, L-I-T-A, Lita. I heard the word obnoxious. Somebody name is Amy. Amy, or this person is just aiming to, you know, still miss. <laughs> Just because you aiming on me, you got aim right here. You dig a rule? I'm just telling you about You can point at some all day. That don't mean that she accurate. The Knight of Wands is in reverse. So this person didn't see this shit coming. Dragons are significant. It's my name, Nikita. Nikita. Yep, the two of damn coins with the Knight of Wands. Somebody thought they were going to have you heavily burdened. And two, you all, make sure you all are really protecting your energy at this time because this person is going to go up under this moon and do some stupid shit. But I feel like it's going to backfire and expose something about them. Somebody in that motherfucker can walk on water or something. You are very divine. It's just something about, look, I can't make this. You're being guided by spirit. The eight of swords, you're not fucked up about anything. Page of Cups, this person is truly, they they just don't want you to make an offer to someone else or accept one here, fam. So I'm just trying to tell you about it. We, look at that, five of pentacles. They're going to be left out in the cold here. But see, this, this person, somebody named Antoinette. Jenkins, okay. Somebody is trying to leave you out in the cold. But you're already in the six of wands. That's what I'm trying to say. You're all you already have established yourself. This person is trying to make you look bad to other people. They're trying to, this person might release some kind of story in the blogs or something, you know, saying something that's really disturbing to your character. But they're only doing the listen to me. They're doing this so that you won't, excuse me, go towards this person like, oh damn, maybe they would have heard that. Maybe they heard, or you know, that ain't true. This person ain't even going to care to explain themselves here. Whoever this energy is, this masculine or feminine who's, you know, being lied on, you're not even going to reply to this because this person's a fucking liar. And you know how, um, I was about to say arrogant, but you know how obsessive this person is. Somebody named Tay. There's an injustice. You know how extra this motherfucker is. This person is shade, the shade room ready is what I heard. This person is always down for some drama or some kind of scandal, period. Male or fucking female. This is a scandalous ass whore or a nigga, period. And they're trying to ruin your reputation. But they're only doing this because they're hoping that the person that uh, you, you want it to be with sees something here. Seesaw is what I heard. Person going up and down, up and down in their emotions. Yeah, people see, they saw, and motherfuckers moved on. Bitch, chariot energy could be a cancer, knight of cups, page of cups. Like I feel, this person just don't want you to be with someone. That's just what the fuck the vibes are. You dig a root? This person is heavily into witchcraft, and you might not know that they were, but they are. This person was putting food, especially if they were cooking, they were putting shit in your food and everything. Masculine probably literally threw up when he found out. Fam threw up like really you were putting shit in my food. AKA this fear factor plate these hoes keep preparing and bringing to a nigga. How the fuck you gonna bring a nigga a poisoned ad plate with a regular diet coke or a regular Sprite or something? This bitch brought you a motherfucking beverage, like an actual beverage. You gonna bring a nigga a glass of water that's good for the body. And then you got a whole poisonous plate. Man, get the fuck out of here. You bitches ain't shit. You niggas ain't shit. Anybody on this low vibration that puts shit in people's food and do all this spell work, you're nothing. And you're going to go down for it. That's why you hoes and niggas is, is alone now. Whoever this person is, they have a very bad track record with dating, period. 
The three of swords in reverse. My family ain't fucked up about it. My family ain't fucked up. Motherfuckers already knew that you were doing this here. I heard the word posse. Whoever you are, you're definitely in the public figure. I mean, in the public eye. <laughs> you are a public figure. Yeah, look, that hurt me. Y'all fuck me to y'all still Virgo energy. This shit right here, real rest your fucking heel for the star. You're not gonna be able to heal so with this person. And you don't want to. Your person wanna come in and make themselves available to you for no reason. Ain't of cuz you already walked away, it's over. I feel like this lie that this person told on you, this is really what put the icing on the cake right here. You dig a room? You weren't never gonna fuck with them, but I feel like you weren't no bad blood. But since they went around lying and shit on your name and shit, you never gonna fuck with this damn person. For what? Why the fuck with you? Empress in reverse. This is not an Empress Leaper energy here. This is a dry ass hoe. Somebody named Jayla or Jada or something. Judgment. Yeah, you already called this shit with this person. Masculine film, y'all can't ever lose, but it's like. The spell work that this person is doing because you're so fucking high ranking and your position is so high already. This person been consulting a lot of practitioners. They've been consulting a lot of people and it's like the most powerful people they feel. But how they don't know that you are indeed the magician. You can't do magic on the magician, but you will just be waiting. If this person is a spiritual hater, they don't like your light anyway. This person is very, very peculiar. It's a strange motherfucker here. Because, like, what is your actual goal? You don't want to be with this person because you love them. Bitch, you just trying to have a baby with this person to forever be relevant. This person so much of bullshit. If you have a baby with this person, your ranking going to go down. You dig a rule? Your ranking going to go down. You're going to fall off. Your career is going to be over fucking with this person. Not saying that your child ain't shit. I'm just trying to save the vibes. That's the, that's the energy on this person's bloodline. Somebody named Kyla or Kyle or something like that. Coyote could be significant. Yeah, they whole nigga be howling at the moon and shit. Now they want to fight divine film. This person might try to chase a nigga with, it, with her car. Damn. Master, this bitch trying to chase you with her car. What the fuck? Bitch crazy. Look, extra trigger. Yeah. This is definitely a karmic, for sure. I feel like this person actually caught a disease as well. They caught themselves cheating on you. Now they want to shoot you. What type of shit is this? <laughs> that shit ain't even funny, but bitch, what the fuck? You nigga real? Clout hungry, broke ass bitch. This person want clout. They don't even want no bread. They don't want no generational wealth. They just want clout. They want to be known. This is a thief of energy. You dig a root? They are. I don't like this person at all. Yeah. Bad habits, snoring coke. This is a cokehead ass bitch right here. Straight the fuck up. This bitch look like a damn lemur. Straight up. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna cap you down. This person stalking the fuck out you, bro. They're stalking you. They're only stalking you because they're trying to see if you're with this feminine. This person was definitely very threatening to this masculine or feminine. Masculine, this bitch came out or trying to come out saying you put, her, put your hands on them. This bitch is a lie. This bitch right here will be fighting you. Somebody love Ariana Grande. Straight up. Her voice. Yeah, this person is haunted here. This person gonna go to jail. They ain't gonna do that for a minute. It's like they're, they're making false claims against this masculine or this feminine. I heard spirit gonna handle this whole this bitch right here thinks she got a little money or she can get out of anything. No, bitch, you can't. Not karma. You're gonna always have to pay for karma. And we all know them boys don't give a fuck about your status. <laughs> when they after your ass, they after your ass. Don't nobody give a fuck. It's many motherfucking people that done had clout and money. Real boss ass niggas behind the fucking wall because they got set up by their record labels and shit. We know this. It's a real boss bitch that's uninterested in a hoe that's fishing through their comments. You dig a rule? This is a fishy bitch. Of course she's going to be fishing. This person also going to try to hit you up from some kind of fake page. I heard the word piranha. But this person, um, this person going to hit you up from a fake page. They're catfishing you. 
They're trying to set you up to see if you're moving on or something here, but you're unbothered. You're not even going to pay this any attention. You already know it's this bitch. She tried to ruin your reputation, bro. This person pays people to post shit about you. Wow. They pay people to post things about you here. Yep. Because they want you fucking back. They're getting the inside scoop of everything you're doing. I'm just trying to say the vibes are here for your mess one. Yeah. Stalking. They're doing a lot. They're trying to force themselves into your energetic field. They're stalking every move you're making. They're also um, stalking this boss bitch. This whole got a low IQ. Goodness gracious. Yeah, they, they trying to be like your motherfucking feminine too. And that's why they're getting their karma. They're getting bad karma. Divine feminine masculine is getting good karma. You're getting bad karma, motherfucker. This person thought that they could be this goddamn divine feminine because they had a little bit of money or something. <laughs> this bitch thought she could buy a nose and lips to match this divine feminine and portray to be this divine feminine. Get piercings and tattoos like this divine feminine. If you have any fam, masculine. Yeah, they try to cop block you. This is a fucking copycat. This person does every goddamn th Everything this feminine does, this person does it too. Period. Fam beneficial is fucking hell fuck. Masculine been that nigga. Masculine been in a mirror. This nigga shit say a mirror. <laughs> This nigga should say Amira. Tell me, nah, that's my girl name. Nah, nigga, you know damn well that's some fake ass Amira. Fuck, nigga. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this motherfucker ain't shit. They done went broke trying to keep up with us with fly ass. This pigeon ass nigga. Trying to, trying to compete with a motherfucking eagle. The fuck are all these niggas at right here, Masculine? Yeah, please. Masculine is not worried about this shit. Phil ain't worried about these folks. Am I right here just start ringing like this? I don't know. I'm on point. This shit right here funny to me. This shit is sad as fucking hell, fuck. This a whole bitch that's trying to come kiss masculine ass. A whole nigga trying to come kiss them ass because they want them back after they had accused them falsely of something. Make it make sense. Where well, I did drums, motherfucker. Where well, I did drums, motherfucker, for this motherfucker. You set up this person to take a loss, motherfucker. And now you want them back, bitch. You are crazy. You fall sight the fuck out. Child, confused. I'm just telling y'all advice. Look, they're carny. They just want to, I'm telling you. This person just wants to be known as knowing you or something like that. Like, this is just, it's like the reason why they want you in their life is very fucking petty. And that shit don't got nothing to do with ascension. It just doesn't. You're not giving this person no money, no time, no dick, no pussy, nothing. They're not getting shit from you. And it's real. They're a groupie. This person knows now that they're a fucking groupie. They were only marrying you for money anyway. If they were, if you ever were to marry this person, it was only going to be for money. We. And I feel like the actions that this person has shown you without y'all being married, you took that and you like, okay, well, you will do the same shit if we were married. You doing all this crazy ass shit now. Motherfuckers ain't finna marry you doing all this stupid ass shit. Flat a nigga side, bust out the window, lying on a nigga, making fake ass police reports and shit. What the fuck? Who does that to someone? And they cannot run from their fucking karma. This shit over. Let me get one more card and I'm closing out this damn reading. Either way it goes, whatever whatever this union is that y'all are coming into, it's beautiful. Look, yes. Within the next few weeks, you're gonna be this damn person, fam, masculine. You're gonna be with your the love of your life in the next few weeks. Hey, don't that seem kind of fast? See me some, you know, what y'all have been through recently here. That seemed like a, a quick time frame. Yep, yeah, it's coming though. The next few weeks, Spirit said. Mm, we'll see you, daddy. Where did it go? Yeah, peaceful resolution and success here. Peaceful resolution, success. Just get ready for something. It's unlikely, okay? Just wait. Something is here for you. 
somebody somebody thought that they were gonna come ruin your life before you met this person it's very unlikely bitch yes it's very unlikely the fuck wrong with you stupid hoes and niggas this is weird you should just mind your business you know damn well you ain't got no good intent for this person so stay the fuck away from that person i'm trying to say to you like what the fuck what's so hard about that masculine got some long hard good dick right here and this bitch right here is missing that reconsider here perfect timing you're gonna meet this person i'm just trying to save the vibes y'all gonna have a great time with each other it's up to you whatever you decide to do is up to you here fam that's clean straight up one thing god has blessed you with is the ability to pick and choose what you want to put your energy into and he's gonna fully support that okay you got some helpful people here too i don't know why i keep getting the energy of a masculine like trying to surprise a feminine for her birthday or something here or like for like something that you had accomplished or something here. They want to they wanna surprise you. Y'all are working on your health. Masculine in the gym and shit right here looking good. Damn. <laughs> I heard Reno. Casino. You dig a roof? I heard a casino. Somebody nickname casino or maybe you um are going to the casino or something here. Yeah. Future is significant. Let go. Let go. Let go of whatever this energy is. Because you have abundance coming towards you. Ask for help from others. Why in the fuck do I feel like this masculine energy? This masculine energy being real motherfucking sneaky fuck. Yeah. Choose a new direction. Well, don't, don't choose a new direction here. Keep going the way that you've been going. Because this person is trying to like throw something off or this is choose a new direction and doing something like no don't do it that way choose a new direction you did a rule oh what the fuck wow somebody is trying to it's like okay wow thank you spirit somebody is trying to like right when you get something perfected or down packed somebody's going to come in and try to fuck it all up i feel like somebody also had been holding on to some kind of information or some kind of tea they were holding on to this only to try to uh, provide it at a time like this. You dig a rule? Don't let this upset you because this person, it's only, a, it's its an illusion. This person is just mad. They're, they're mad as fucking hell for that you're ignoring they groupy ass and you don't want shit to do with them. They're mad. Who cares? Who gives a fuck? Nobody truly cares. It's an easy fix, period. <laughs> this person thought that they were doing some shit by being low vibrational. This Empress bitch in the reverse. Thank you, Spirit, because they just showed me. And some cars fell on the floor, too. I ain't going to pick those up because they were already out. But, yeah. Choose a new direction. No. They they want to bring it into something for you. They want to mess it up. Like, they want to literally mess up something for you. Or have you looking at something in a different way. It's not going to work. This is confirmation all through this reading. This Empress bitch, this Libra... It's always the empress in the reverse. Could be your baby mama or something. They're trying to fuck up your um relationship. Yes, they are. But as your angels, yes, as your angels, so please for guidance. Stay high. I mean, stay close to the most high God. What the fuck? Masculine be high and fuck. That's what ass over there rolling up goddamn baseball bats and shit. Yeah. <laughs> then mess with definitely uh, play baseball or something. Or something about baseball is significant or something, okay? I heard the word scrutiny. Jezebel. Okay, here. Bella. Bella. Okay. Either way it goes, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I know I did. You guys always remember that God loves you and so do I. I'll see you all next time.